watch the mud rise up. Dress me like a lamb for the slaughter. Pour me in your cup. Should've known we'd bring trouble, and trouble gonna find you here. Trouble. I was one way. Stranger in between And you can say your eyes are open You might think your hands are clean Till the wind blows in To get something I'm scraping the bottom, make my well run dry. Shake them coins, I know where you got 'em. Kiss me, kiss me by. Should've known we'd bring trouble. Trouble gonna find you here. Yeah, trouble. Stranger in between, you can say your eyes are open. You might think your hands are clean till the wind blows in. The dirt kicks up in ways you never see. All right, we are testing something. Colin, could you mute me on your end, please? <laughs> or put you in the earbuds? So let me hear you if, if this is working. We're trying something new. I am actually hosting this live stream from the technical side, which is very dangerous. So this, this, is, this is why we're doing this spontaneously. We have not made this public. If you came from the Chosen Global Army Facebook page, thank you. Uh, we told you about it, but we haven't told anyone else. And we've got a couple surprises just for you because we're doing this uh, just for you. So this is spontaneous. If you just came across us now, uh, congratulations. You're going to get a little discount code in the gift store. Got some information for you that we're not sharing anywhere else. So, And I'm going to be taking your questions. And I've got the ability to post your questions right here on the screen. So uh, be patient. Some of this is being worked out for the first time. I've got headphones on because my ear pods weren't working. So uh, let's let's see how this works. So I'm going to, what I can do is I can see questions here and I'm going to pick them and then post them. So uh, anyway, Colin and anyone else, let me know. Am I, can you hear me okay? Am I coming through? I sound good. I'm coming through on YouTube. All right. everyone's Everyone's liking it. All right, good. We are live on YouTube, Facebook, and hopefully, although who knows, the Chosen app. So if you're watching on the Chosen app, good for you if you just happen to catch it. But again, we didn't make this public. We're not, uh, but I wanted to uh, give you a couple of things that are going to happen in this uh, live stream 
that are kind of cool surprises. So number one, I'm going to give you a discount code that's going to last all weekend in thechosengifts.com. Yes, www.thechosengifts.com. 5% off everything in the store this weekend, and I'm not telling anyone else about it. So if you're on this live stream watching right now, or if you're watching this later this weekend, then congratulations. You got 5% off and everything in the store. The discount code is Livestream. L-I-V-E-S-T-R-E-A-M. Livestream. So order whatever you want. And then when you go to check out in the discount code, you write Livestream, it'll take 5% off. Now, there are other little discount codes that you might normally use that aren't going to work if you use this one. So you can't do use two at the same time. And guess what? We are close to cutting off the presale of the DVD. So uh, we're probably going to cut it off in the next couple of days. Don't know exactly when, but it's going to be in the next couple of days. And then we're done with the presale. After that, you'll be able to get a regular DVD. But why would you want to wait for that when you get this premiere edition? Now, what is special about the premiere edition? Well, number one is it's discounted. So once our cutoff happens and we switch to the regular edition where we're no longer doing a presale, it's going to be the regular price. This is this presale is the discount price. Okay. So even by the way, and that discount price doesn't require a discount code. You just go to the chosengifts.com or the gift factory in the app and you get this discount. And if you want that extra 5% off of that, that's this weekend with that discount code live stream. So what's special about this DVD? It's this thing. Okay. This thing is not going to be in any of the regular editions. This is the only time we're doing this. And it's this really cool devotional. Um, and so, for example, look at this. So it's got episode one. And it's got this cool picture that you can't see anywhere else. Uh, this is Rama and her father, Kofni. And then it's got this devotional, little devotional about episode one, this kind of extra insight that we wrote just for this booklet. This is not something that we just pulled from somewhere else. Okay. Then you got episode two. And that's the picture of Nathaniel in that key moment. We've got this little devotional thing that, excuse me, that's really, really cool. Um, see, episode three and so on. So uh, this devotional booklet also has a little message from me. That's me, by the way, me and, uh, and our cinematographer, Keith, but I wrote this little note. Again, this is all exclusive to this presale. So, oh, this is cool. I didn't remember this was on there. So just these real, it's a, just a really, really nice, we really put some time and effort into it to make it cool, not just some little promotional item. But uh, that comes with the presale. It will not come with the regular edition. We just really wanted to give you kind of a thank you for purchasing this ahead of time. So if you haven't done so yet, or if you want to do it as a gift, or if you didn't believe me the first time I told you about the devotional book, and now you're kind of like, oh, that is cool. I really do want that. Now's the time because we are going to cut it off in just a little bit. So I'm seeing quite a few new uh, people here. Uh, so glad that you just joined us. I'm sure you might be just spontaneously seeing what we're trying here. Uh, again, this is just a test. We're testing this new form of doing live streams where I actually have the control. Not, uh, not tip. We don't typically allow me to do this, but I'm, I'm trying to. So let, let me, let me, uh, let me just try this here. Um, so did that work? Annie, can we get the soundtrack information? Did that work, Colin? I'm a big boy. I'm like doing. I'm doing cool things. I saw this. Uh, I've seen a couple other live streams, a couple other channels that love the chosen who are doing live streams all the time. Like the Snipe Life is one of them. And I saw them putting up these questions themselves. I'm like, maybe I should do that. So Annie asked, can we get the soundtrack information? So the soundtrack from season one is available wherever you can get your music. You can also buy the hard copy CD on the gift store. Uh, and the season two soundtrack is coming out soon. Uh, it, the, the, the single, you know, we did a, a full length version of trouble, which, oh, that, I didn't even think about that. I'm actually wearing that t-shirt now. I'll talk about that in just a second. The t-shirt for that moment at the end of season one and that great song trouble, the full length version of that song we recorded, uh, Dan, our, Dan and Matt, our composers did a full length version, added another verse, added a bridge, made a chorus, all of this. And that is currently only available during the closing credits of the season finale of season two. It's the only way you're going to be able to find it. So go to the app uh, and 
go to the closing credits and it's the first thing up there. That's where you can hear it. We will re we will be releasing it as a single wherever you get music shortly. So stay tuned for that. We might also be bringing that in from uh, on the radio. So stay tuned for that. So let me see what else we've got here. Uh, again, there's so many comments coming in, so it's hard for me to see them. But uh, let's see. So hello to MC. Hello to Ashley. Hello to Margaret, Monica. Um, I'm going to put this one up just because it's nice. Laura Hill says, best show ever. I'll take that. I like that. Not a question. Oh, this is this uh, Betsy. New Orleans here. Please pray for us. Yeah, New Orleans is going through major tr uh, trouble with Ida. So yeah, we do pray for you, uh, our brothers and sisters there. Um, so again, I'm just looking. Leslie, when can we look forward to season three starting? Uh, as of right now, we are hoping to begin filming season three in March of 2022. Uh, there's been delays on the construction of our sets. There's been uh, delays on the script, all that stuff. So uh, we want to do it as soon as we can, but between weather and delays and all that, uh, we we can't guarantee this, but we're looking at March in 2022 to try to start filming season three. And uh, then we'll get it out as soon as we possibly can. The good news is we've got a Christmas special coming between now and then. Remember last year's Christmas special where we had uh, those musicians come and they performed uh, Christmas songs on the set? Uh, we've got a really awesome uh, return. We're doing that again. And uh, we've got monologues that we'll be doing. We've got these artists, uh, you know, people like some of the people coming back from last time, like Phil Wickham and Four King and Country. We've got some newcomers we're really excited about um, that. I mean, this is going to be awesome. This, uh, Trust me. And so we'll, we'll keep you informed of that. But that's going to hopefully tide you over uh, during the Christmas season until we uh, we we do back we do a season three so stay tuned we've got some really really cool things to tell you about that Christmas special between now and then let's see what else we got some questions and coming up in just a couple minutes I got a little surprise guest for you okay we're gonna bring in a surprise guest I see him in the waiting room now he will be joining us in just a couple minutes uh, and you can have some questions for him as in two uh, Bet Betty says is season two mostly someone talking about stuff? We haven't been able to see any episodes all the way through. Not sure what that's about, but episode, uh, season two, all of the episodes are in um, the app. I'm guessing you're just watching these on YouTube and it's just me talking. So season two is not on YouTube. Season two is on the app. So you need to get the chosen app. That's the only place you can watch all of season two. So you go to wherever you get your apps. Uh, you look up the chosen in the app store or Google Play, wherever you get your phone apps. Download the app. It takes less than a minute and it's totally free. It doesn't require any kind of sign up. And if you're thinking, I don't want to watch it on my phone. I want to watch it on my TV. I get it. I understand. You can connect it directly to your streaming device, Apple TV, Roku, Fire Stick. If you don't have any of those, you should get them. They're actually not that expensive. You can also watch it on the website, thechosen.tv, www.thechosen.tv, thechosen.tv. Someone in the chat can remind you of that, but uh, you can also watch it free, totally free. On, uh, on the website. Um, this is good. Lisa, are you currently casting any Dutch Caucasian redheads? No, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Maybe as a Roman soldier at some point, but not anytime soon. Uh, all right, let's... Uh, Denise, are you getter? <laughs> I'm guessing she means better. Since you posted that disturbing video of needing prayer, wow! I don't remember posting a disturbing video of needing prayer. I did send it to my uh, text community, so if you're not on that, you should. Uh, well, someone will comment in the in the text thread here. If you're in the United States, you can text me at. Oh, I'm going to get the number wrong. I want to make sure I get that right. If you have that somewhere, Colin, you can post it. Yeah, I don't think you have it. Two one four. Two three, I think it's two one four two three nine one five two seven. Two one four two three nine one five two seven. Two one four two three nine one five two seven. You just text that number, and <coughs> excuse me, I will send you a weekly text, video, discount code, whatever. And uh, it's just something that only it, it doesn't require you know any money or anything like that. It's totally free. It's just a thank you, and I give you these discount codes and prayer requests and little things that I just don't do anywhere else. 
and there's no catch. It's just totally for uh, as a, as a thank you. And that's where I posted. I, I mentioned that we, we could just use some prayer, uh, but I don't think it was disturbing. <laughs> uh, it was just uh, we've, uh, we've we've had multiple things going on. I think just with as we're trying to do season three, just there are so many resistances to it, especially just me trying to write it uh, with my co-writers. I'm at the stage where I'm writing now. And I just there's so many distractions, and us uh, just please pray for for, for please pray for focus. So I'm going to bring on a guest right now. Uh, he's ready. He, I, I know he's ready, and I know he's excited. Luke, <laughs> you there? Hi, Dallas. I'm here. I'm Luke here. Dimian. I don't know if you guys know, but Luke Dimian, uh normally on the show has a beard. On this on this uh, live stream, he he has shaved it. He's looking about 12 years old. And uh, he <laughs> that's is, very gracious of you. Usually, I go for a good solid 10, but I yeah, appreciate no, the are, two year uh, you've, adage. You've grown so. Luke Dimian, Judas Iscariot. You saw oh, I don't. Him. We we don't know about that. I mean, you've been officially ordained by the Pope as the. I, I think now it's official, Judas Iscariot. I I, I haven't heard back from uh, Beverly about the official casting yet. I, I might be demoted. Might just yeah, put me when, as like a lamb, lamb guy in the back. <laughs> I didn't think about that. That when the Pope asked me if I was Judas, that you might have been watching, going, uh, hello. Um, I thought we were good, but to be clear, Luke, I said, no, I said, I am not Judas either in real life. I don't represent Judas and in the show, <laughs> I'm not acting as Judas. Luke Dimian is cast. He said, Luke Dimian, who's he? And I said, he's this guy from America. He's really cool. And, uh, he, then he, he, he wanted to get in touch with you as soon as possible. Serious? None, oh, none, don't, none, don't play none, me none like of, that. None of that is true. Perfect. Uh, yeah. So. <laughs> Uh, let's see here. We've got, um, oh, Kelly says, please post the phone, phone number. Uh, yes, I said it three, yeah, yeah. Uh, 214-239-1527. 214-239-1527. So Margaret says, hi, Luke. Uh, hi, Margaret. Marcus, Hello. Marcos says, yo, what's up, man? Nothing mud. What's up with you, Marcus? How's it going, brother? Let's go. Let's go. What's up? <laughs> uh, BM Klongtube, Klongatube <laughs> says, <"Hey." laughs> Hello, Klung. Good day. Uh, Good day Brandy to you. Kaiser says, uh, Luke, all caps. That is my name. I appreciate yeah. the enthusiasm. I, I really hope that the the all the hype, you were hyping me while I was back here. I, I didn't know how to deal with that. I, I think people were expecting, it's like, oh no, Jonathan Rumi, maybe, or, or George Xanthus, and out, out of nowhere comes, hello, it's me. Yeah. Yes. The, the uh, guy. Yeah. Uh, so uh, th we got this question from Coffee Girl. Will we see Satan in one of the episodes? Um, it's an interesting question. That, that question comes while Luke Dimian is on uh, the live stream because the Gospels actually say that Satan entered uh, Judas uh, near the end. Um, hmm. So uh, have you already seen Satan in episode eight? Who knows? Yeah, Maybe who knows? we'll get to see the entering on screen. It'll be like a quick like wet willy. It's like, ah, I got you. And Judas will be like, oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He's done yeah. me wrong. Yeah, how are we going to portray that moment when Satan enters Luke? You're just like walking along and taking a drink of water. All of a sudden, you're just like, <clears throat> ah, oh, hello. <laughs> um, <laughs> so doing like a quick Elvis, like Presley does, like, help! I don't know what's come come upon my body. <laughs> yes, uh, not. I'm gonna I'm gonna do a hard pass on the Elvis Presley thing. Um, um, okay, so we'll, we'll workshop it. We'll see what yeah, what exactly. we have to do. I honestly, uh, I really hope we do. I know I, I don't know if that's entirely in tune with the show, but I've always been a huge fan of just portrayals of the devil. They always seem like such fun, like like boisterous characters, and just to see that like build up, only to see him like fall flat in his face, right? In in yeah. any story, like yeah. yeah. So I I'd, I'd be excited to see it as a as a fan. Yeah. Again. Again. <laughs> We'll, we'll, we'll workshop it. I'm, I'm not making this easy for you, am I, Talos? I'm over yes. here with the fans like, oh, wouldn't that be cool? And he's like, calm down, please. You're you're going to love this. Heidi mm. Terry says, the gorgeous eye guy. Oh. Soulful, so very go. interesting cast for Judas, who would who most would expect to be unlovable, but wow. I mean, hey, I, hold on to that unlovable definition. We'll see. We'll see where it goes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, so um, that, that that does bring up a fair question, though. Mm. is when you are preparing for Judas and we're doing these scenes right now, 
you happen to know where the character is going. Of oh, course, yeah. it's the most obvious, uh, you know, one, one of the most famous characters in the entire history of the world. Uh, so we know where he's going. As an actor, do you have to work hard to resist thinking about that or playing the current Judas character with that in mind? Or is it easy to just let go of all of it? I think the hardest part is dealing with the the end game kind of realization of playing the idea of him. Because a lot of people immediately when they think of Judas, they think of someone like very, very cryptic and sneaky and very kind of sulkin and oh yes, I love money. But but right. when you when you find like the truth of the character, it's much easier, especially with when you get scripts that are so well written, seriously. I uh I love what you've done with him. It's it's very simply put, just a breeze to play him in the now how he is and to to treat him like a human being realize to play more of the ambition instead of the long game end right. that that we we're all expecting because that's almost like starting a magic show with the rabbit already outside of the hat like there's there's right. no trick there so you, right. basically i just focus on the humanity of what he would be before all this and realizing he still needs to be a part of the group. He He's probably a good person going into the group. And then we will get to see where that goes from there. And I think we we talked about this before, not to play the end part before, right. because that, this, is, that is very important. And that's not, you're saying that's not too difficult for you because, because of the writing and because you've just been able to make that decision. I'm not doing it. I'm focused on this episode, this moment in Judas's life. Yeah, it's it's all about the build up. We we have to get there first, guys. Come on, right, be patient right, with right, us. Right. Well, right now I am writing. So Ryan and Tyler, my co-writers, have done the first drafts, and right now I am writing um, uh, the scene where Ju Jesus officially calls Judas. Um, mm -hmm. And actually, you know, because right now Judas and Jesus haven't met yet; they've just glanced at each other. And people love that moment where, it, it, and I have to, I have to say, it's pretty cool in slow motion, and the music just kind of kicks in as as Luke, you know, as as you kind of step forward and stare at him. It turned can out I, pretty pretty awesome. Can I say something really fun about that moment? Yeah. Because uh, when we were filming that, uh, I can't remember which which day it was. I know there was two separate times because there was the Sermon on the Mount where we had to do things very quickly because we had everybody, and then there was another time where we had to come back and uh, redo or like pick up on some scenes that we didn't get to do. But on that day where we were filming that that push in and the pull, uh, I was kind of put in the back. I remember we were just kind of like focusing and I, and I wasn't given really any direction. I genuinely thought the camera was gonna pass me. Like it wasn't gonna focus on me at all. I was like, oh, all right. I mean, I might as well just stay in the scene. Well, we're worst thing that could happen. Someone spots me in the background and then lo and behold, I watched the episode and then it pan focus zooms into me. I was like, they caught it? I... Yeah, it's an awesome moment too. I, like... I was so surprised that that was actually picked up by the camera because I would like, no one said anything. We were just like, okay, we're gonna push in. We're gonna get like a quick pan view of everybody. You were very like, okay, we're moving on. We're moving on. We gotta push through. Yeah. We, we had like the cold, we had the time dates. And I was like, okay, let's, uh, I'm just gonna stay in character. I have. Nothing, nothing specific has been given, but the fact that you caught that and yeah. you put it in there blew my mind. And it, it, it taught me a very uh, important lesson. That, uh, camera's always on. Camera's, camera's always, always on. Yeah. Um, so I've got a question I want to bring up because I've seen a couple of people ask this. But yes. real quick, if you're watching right now, if you're somewhat new, remember this weekend, all the way up through Labor Day, we've got a 5% off everything in the store just for you watching the live stream. If you're watching this live stream right now or even later in the weekend, 5% off everything in the store with the live stream code, sorry, with the code live stream, L-I-V-E-S-T-R-E-A-M. So anything in the store at thechosengifts.com or the gift factory in the app, literally just put in live stream and the discount code at the end, you get 5% off everything. And this Trouble t-shirt that I'm wearing, which comes, the, the song Trouble comes shortly after the moment that Luke and I were just talking about. And it's a blue shirt, which is going to be per pertinent to the question I'm about to ask. Trouble, and we are actually retiring this shirt, this hoodie, all of the Trouble gear. We are retiring those soon. We are literally running out of whatever we've got left. So you want to get that now. It's one of my favorite shirts. I love the color and everything. It brings out my 
my eyes. I'm just very, I, I just very much like this shirt. Guys, look at him. Look at him. Look at how beautiful he is. Yeah, it is. It is extraordinary. So five percent off. Judas approved. It's a good deal. <laughs> yes. Yes. Very. 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 Very good. Very good. Uh, um, so you okay. got dates and figs. Yes. So yes. this trouble shirt, you need to get it, uh, and because it's going away soon, and you can have five percent off everything. So this brings me to the color blue, which brings me to this question. Hmm. Luke, where is your blue hair? Several other people asked about blue hair. I have mm. no clue what they're talking about. What uh, is this about? So do you remember when I uh, told you about the live stream me and some of the chosen cast were doing to raise money for Afghanistan? Yes. Yes. So uh, good news. We were able to raise nearly $6,000 thanks to all of our fans help to, uh, to raise money for the International Rescue Committee, which sends food, shelter, and various other supplies to a lot of individuals in Afghanistan who are either displaced or are in danger currently in their own country. During that live stream, uh, as we were fundraising, I made a lot of promises that the fans kept uh, achieving with uh, certain uh, payment goals. And so one of them was to dye my hair blue. And so <laughs> I had to keep I had to keep my word. So eventually I, 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 I did it. I got some uh, some blue hair wax and I for the entirety of yesterday, I just had blue hair. I literally went I, I, to my uh, Dungeons and Dragons session yesterday in a full blue state. And uh, that was that was fun. But knowing that I have this project coming up. And also that my manager as an agent would kill me if it was permanent. I had to have a a non permanent blue. So if it, if anyone's looking for my blue hair, I'm sorry. I had to shower last night, mostly because I also didn't want to get a bunch of sparkly blue stuff on my bed as I sleep. That would be a bit disappointing. Uh, yeah, let's let's just pause for a second here. So leaving aside the fact that I I know we have some nerds in our cast, and I know that you are a nerd, but you saying I went to my Dungeons and Dragons session yesterday with my blue hair is just not a sentence I was expecting to hear from any of my cast or, or friends for that matter uh, anytime soon. So congratulations for that. Uh, and I'm sorry, <laughs> I'm sorry that that's your life. Um, no, no, but, no, no, don't, but, don't, don't apologize. It's such a pleasure to be a part of. You knew this about me. You literally I, yeah. pointed out my entire arsenal of Nerf guns. I, I, I know it's just, I know it's just a shame to be reminded of it. So that <laughs> that that said, do you have a picture? Do you have anything that even on your phone that you can just hold up to the camera right now to show your blue hair? Of course, of course I do. I saved it just in case. I wasn't able to get a bunch of uh, pictures, mostly because uh, I was I'm, I'm kind of running around. There's a lot of uh, house stuff that I'm dealing with, but also D and D. It's a, it's a it's a family night. It's a game night, but uh. If you could see right, oh, there we go, right there. Okay. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. What are we thinking? You, you, uh, you, per, kept, you kept maybe the like promise. A, oh yeah. What are we thinking? Permanent Luke uh, look. Judas comes in a bit bluer than usual. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. No, no chance of that in oh. the future. But um, so Elodia says, are you going to show Judas stealing from the purse? You'll have to watch. That's several seasons away. Mm -hmm. As of right now, uh, Judas is still a, a good guy. Uh, several people are saying things like this. Give Luke a trouble T. So hey, Luke, I'd, I'd be more than happy, willing to accept a trouble T. Okay, so at any Luke, point, you, like the cast, has a special discount code where you can get the stuff free. I do? So, yes, and you, and I've told everyone that. If you If you miss that, then just text me. After this, I will give you the discount code and you can get whatever you want on the store for free, including a trouble t-shirt. Yeah. So, yeah. I did it, uh, mom. Yeah. <laughs> it was all worth it. Um, blue hair just doesn't fit you, bro, says uh, Jay Niedermeyer. So, I mean, uh, it fit pretty well. It got, it got like a bit stuck in there. It was hard to get off, actually. But it got a bit too attached to me. I was like, be gone. It was, it was um, a bit rough. <laughs> Yeah, Deborah said the most handsome Smurf I've ever seen. Um, that would be Grumpy Smurf. I appreciate the 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 high praise though, but he takes he takes the cake. Um, Laquita says, "Can we see what the trouble shirt looks like? Can you stand real quick and show it, Dallas?" Yeah, Dallas. No, I'm not going to stand. Oh, come there. on! Give us give us a bit of a twirl. Come on! It's the yeah. it's the chosen countdown. Da -da -da -da. Da -da -da. Ooh, the bat! Dallas, uh, have you been working out? Where are those lat pulls coming in? 
Yeah, it's amazing. So um, on the back of the of the trouble shirt, it says the chosen, and then uh, this is the 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 silhouette of that iconic shot at the end of season one, where all of the the, the current band of disciples at the end of season one are walking, and it says trouble because it. It's all about the fact that they experience trouble and they start trouble. It's a great conversation starter. So, yeah. uh, stirring up the water. So, yes. Oh, that's yeah. tough. Um, all right. Let me see uh, one more, sh one more question for you because before I see, uh, before I let you go here, someone says, sure. uh, hard to tell. K Carrie says, uh, hard to tell. Please post on your Insta. So, can Will you do. post that picture of your? Oh, of your yeah. I'll, I'll post it on the Instagram to make it official and let's keep it as a memory. Just like, remember when this happened? Wow. Crazy yes. times. Um, so what's it been like, uh, you know, you and I did that conversation uh, back when episode eight came out and uh, where you talked about playing the role, but at that time it, the episode hadn't come out yet and you hadn't gotten all the response from the fans. So can you just share kind of what that's been like over the last month? Um, have you gotten good feedback? Have you got, I mean, I are the chosen fans uh, 95% are extraordinarily encouraging and positive. There's always the occasional, crazies who are gonna you know say something oh, that comes with any fan yeah um but that's, that's just uh, with the territory exactly but uh what's it been like just the last month friends family people reaching out people dming you on instagram all that stuff uh <laughs> it's been it's been wildly and immensely supportive on like all fronts from my family. My family's just absolutely excited. My grandma, as I said before, she was, I, uh, I didn't get to say this in the interview, interview, but she, uh, I, this is the grandma who binged the entire thing up until right, right, 1am. Right, 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 right. Uh, I would just turn while we were watching the episode and she just had the brightest smile that I'd ever seen on her face constantly. I don't think she knew what was going on, but she was just so happy the entire time. And uh, the DMs are continuous. The, the people are so supportive. Uh, no death threats, though. There have been some like I'm, I'm still waiting. I mean, right. I mean, guys, you're all way too nice. You're so sweet <laughs> and supportive. Like, where's the where's the visceral hate? I've gotten right. some like notes, but come on, that's the weak sauce. I want I want like a full destitute. Just I wish thine children are cursed from henceforth. Like, where where's the Shakespearean stuff? But I digress. Uh, overall, it's just been it's been really fun. The memes give me so much life. I love the meme pages. Uh, but it's it's been so nice and kind and great. And I, I, I've just been so appreciative of all the of all the love that has been coming my way for being, you know, reflectively uh, 15 minutes on screen. Yes, yes. Well, more to come. Um, uh, we'll, we'll end with this above and beyond asks, where is this guy from? Uh, <laughs> hopefully, they, the, the question could have been a little bit more uh, <laughs> where's this I guy mean, from uh but where are you from uh, luke well I'm, I'm i'm coming from my my bedroom in the in the valley right now <laughs> but so technically you live in the valley in yes. california uh born and raised torrance california if we're talking about my ethnicity i am coptic egyptian ah. so my what did family you say? i'm sorry I, occasionally i'm looking down because of the comments where did you say you were born and raised uh torrance california okay, okay. That's so I'm very, very boring. Like when it comes to like personality wise for my, for my raising stance, I have Torrance is just me. It's nothing even that like crazy. It's just like, hi, I'm from Torrance. But uh, my family is much more interesting because my father's from Cairo and my mother's from Alexandria where their generations have spanned for since the Pharaonic age. We are a Coptic. We've been there for long times and now we're over here and I'm our representative. <laughs> good and i'm just kidding no i'm not the only representative we've also got like rami malik and you know so we're in good hands oh okay yeah because you're like i'm the representative and i'm judas Ta -da! Uh, <laughs> uh jan says Ra yeah we were talking about you're, you're talking about the hate mail and jan says it's hard to hate someone who god put in place to do a job for him and uh, judas was necessary to start the process um but i think that applies to you as well luke um as, as we talked about in our conversation and as my wife Amanda made very clear, you are God's man for this project and for this role. And uh, it's been, it was, I, I just loved working with you. I loved how, how Judas was presented in episode eight. I can't wait to do more of it. And I love also, and I, it clearly worked because the, the fans were just over the moon. So I hope you've felt that and uh, I'm looking forward to more. Oh my goodness. I felt it 10 times over and thank you for, giving me this chance with this character that I've been admiring for the most longest time of my life. 
Oh man, this was a huge mistake bringing on me. I, I need you guys to understand. I'm like one of you. Honestly, when I'm not given a script, I'm on state, like I'm, I'm, I'm on set. I'm just one of you. I'm a fan. So he, he made a huge mistake bringing me on here. I'm over here. Like when's, when's the next episode? What does he do? What do I get to do? Please. Yeah. When do we get to meet? How does it, how did it go? Do I get to shake his hand? Do I get to give him a little tap? Like, Hey, it's Jesus. I want snapshots. I want like a full, like cardboard board, like of just strings. Like this is where it goes. Yes. The betrayal starts here. I, I yeah. need, I need that info, man. Come on. Yeah, not happening anytime soon. But that's uh, fair. Yes. All right. Well, thank you, Luke. And uh, looking forward to more. And thanks for coming in. And thank you to you, those of you who asked questions. And uh, Luke, we will talk to you soon. All right. Thank you all so much. Judas out. <laughs> all right. Uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed that with uh, Luke. So, um, a couple of things. Um, so, there is an opportunity as you what's called super chat. Now you do not have to do this, but there's this opportunity if you're on YouTube to click that super chat button. Uh, it's, it's usually like a, a, a dollar sign or whatever, where you can contribute to our YouTube page and it goes directly to our YouTube channel and it allows us to make the channel better, allows us to get forward better equipment. Uh, you don't have to, we're doing fine. But uh, when you do that, it does also allow us to, to see your question a little easier. But you don't have to. I'm trying to find questions that are relevant. If I find them, I will post them. You don't need to pay money to do so, but it does allow us to see it a little bit better if you do that. And it's just a nice way to thank uh, Colin, who's who tends to be running things and uh, help us get better equipment and stuff for these uh, channels. Um, and I, I have no. Uh, there are some people who have been saying things like, "Can I please get a shout out?" And I've seen a couple where they were in all caps and repeatedly. Uh, that's, I love you. Thank you for the support. It's not a great way to get uh, a shout out. Um, uh, we're trying, it's a, it's a Q and A. And if we just started posting people who were asking for shout outs, then we would get nothing but that. And it would flood the comment section. And, uh, and also all caps is not a great, uh, not the most polite way to, to get my attention. So appreciate if you could try to limit uh, when we're doing this and I'm looking for questions to answer again, I love you. This is not anything mean, but if you could try to keep it to questions um, that I can actually post, that'd be great. But if you want to talk amongst yourselves, it's great too. But just coming at me with, please just post my name or whatever is is uh, not going to usually get posted. Uh, Jpan asks, Dallas, how is the financing for season three going? I pray it's well, all is well. Here's a cool thing about our show. You can actually see it. You can actually see the financing. So if you go to the app, uh, we put it right along uh, the bottom, I believe. And uh, on the website, same thing. We show you the progress of how the uh, how the financing is coming. Financing for future episodes and seasons comes from you. Uh, it is not required. You do not have to pay a dime to watch this show. The show is free now, and it will be free until Jesus comes. Uh, if you, excuse me, if you want to watch it in the app or on the website, thechosen.tv, it will always be free. Now, it may be uh, if you go on Amazon or some of these other places, you may need to pay something, but on our app, it is totally free. We give you the option and we say, look, if you want to keep more episodes and seasons going, if you want us to be able to keep it free forever, uh, you can pay it forward. And that is, uh, and then portions of pay it forward go to marketing, portions go to foreign languages so we can get it out to people around the world. Portions go to obviously keeping the business running and our, our angel, our distribution partner who does so much to actually create the app. I mean, there's costs that we have to pay for that pay it forward goes towards. But then there is a chunk, a large chunk of it that goes towards actual production, literally goes towards the episodes and seasons. And that's how we're able to do more episodes and seasons. And you can look right in the app or at the website to see our progress. So uh, that's really cool. Susan, I haven't seen them, uh, even seen the last two episodes yet because I don't want it to end since the third season won't be ready for around a year. Good patience, Susan. Uh, if you want to wait for those last two episodes, you're perfectly willing, uh, you know, you're perfectly fine to do that. But it uh, it does take, uh, it, it does mean you'll have to be patient. Uh, let's see, I'm seeing a super chat here. Thank you, True Patriot, for five bucks. Uh, and I like your name. Is there a plan for a movie aside from the show? Uh, no plans for that uh, anytime soon. Uh, you know, who knows? We, what may come, but we believe that this story is best told in the form of, of a, uh, of a show. Uh, let's see here. Um, thank you for all these super chats. I'm seeing Michael. This is really nice. Kind of you. 
Mark Kemsley. Oh, hi, hi, Mark. Uh, you've always been so supportive of the show. Appreciate that. Um, Mark Kemsley, uh, I'm trying to, Colin, do you know how to, how to post these super chats that aren't immediately in the comment section? Like they're above below the top. So I'm, so I'm, I'm clicking on it and nothing is, it's not doing anything. Yeah. So there was one from Mark. For, I just I just want to start randomly putting up some of them if you don't mind. But I just can't I can't do it myself from the top where I see them. How, uh, Kathy uh, Kathy Hughes has been a huge supporter of the show and always active. Asks how is the family adjusting to Texas? Thank you, Kathy, for that question. Um, I am. Uh, we are adjusting. Uh, it's been challenging just because uh, two of my oldest kids went off to college shortly after we got here. Um, my my daughter uh, who's leaving who left for college for the first time obviously that's painful. Uh, my two youngest kids are in brand new schools, so there's a transition there, and that's of course a challenge. Uh, but uh, yeah, so your prayers are appreciated for that. Just as we get used to this transition, uh, while all in the middle of trying to write season three and uh, so many things going on, uh, trying to deal with the move, and we're in a rental house now that's pretty small. While we're getting our or the house that we're going to be moving into that's being built. It's just, it's just uh, nothing about this is, is smooth, but no complaints because uh, we're proud and thrilled to be doing uh, God's work. And that's a, that's a privilege, nothing to complain about. Uh, thank you, Holly. Appreciate that. Uh, $20 super chat. Very nice. Thank you. Um, Arctic rebel. Interesting. Arctic Rebel says uh, for seven dollars. Thank you, Arctic. Is it better to super chat you guys or pay it forward via the app? Pay it forward is always the best way to to, to support the show. Super chat is almost like just a nice little tip. It goes directly to our YouTube channel. Uh, we just use that for um, again things like our, our our equipment for to keep these behind the scenes videos free. Um, you know all of the extra content that we do that's not the show. Uh, things that we do on YouTube. Our 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 crew. Um, you know, we have employees who are devoted solely to behind the scenes videos, all of that extra content that you see, the ability to do these live streams. Uh, we really don't want to use any of the money from paying it forward for that. Um, we're using only things like Super Chats and uh, the purchases of merchandise, uh, gifts. Sorry, I don't like to use that term merchandise anymore. So speaking of that very, very quickly, I want to let you know about this and then I'm going to go back to your questions because uh, I really appreciate you joining us. So remember this uh, poster book that we just debuted a couple weeks ago? It has been like the sales have been crazy. So we're going we, to we're, we're gonna run out relatively soon. <clears throat> and as I mentioned in the last, li last live stream, this is currently $19.99, uh, way underpriced. I mean, for the, for the, look at, I mean, just, I'm just going to randomly open this up. Look what you get. These, the, this imagery is just beautiful. Um, key moments from the show. Um, I mean, look at that. And then these, these easily come out. In fact, I'm just going to go ahead and do that right now. So like I can very easily pull this out of the, um, pull this out of the book. Look at that. Just like that. And, um, and I can, I can display that as a poster. I can frame it, whatever I want. But that's just an example of of how easy this is, and it's way underpriced not only for the value of it, uh, but also just because costs have gone up exponentially just in the last few months. Uh, printing, shipping, uh, delivery, all fulfillment, all that stuff because of COVID and because of uh, just all over the world, uh, costs have significantly gone up. And so uh, the last uh, uh, little bit of this current batch that we have uh, is $19.99, and then. Uh, when we run out of that batch, the next round is going to be $29.99. Uh, that's not because we're trying to gouge you. Uh, and $29.99 is actually underpriced as well. We, all of our items are actually underpriced compared to industry standard and compared to what we probably should be. But we really, really want these to be given as gifts. We want to be appreciative of how much you support the show. But uh, go ahead and get that. And again, right now, through the weekend, 5% off everything in the store, including this uh, premiere edition pre-sale DVD. So this is only available uh, for the next few days as a pre-sale, what's called the premier edition. After that, this little thing that's on this will be gone. It will just be the standard edition and the standard edition will be full price. This is a discount and the full price uh, edition will not actually have this, this really cool uh, booklet that has pictures you won't see anywhere else and devotionals, um, some, some insights and, and, behind the scenes insights and spiritual insights that we put into this booklet that are not available 
uh, on anywhere else. We did it just for this book group and it's just for this pre-sale time. So um, that 5% off everything in the store uh, that you're going to be getting uh, this weekend, uh, discount code live stream, discount code live stream. So order in the store, get your order together. And then in the discount code, you write live stream and it will immediately take 5% off everything you ordered. Okay. Uh, so let's take some questions. Um, Don, when will season two roundtables be in the app? Love the season one roundtables. Great question. So right now, if you go to the app and you go to the extra, uh, the extra section, the bonus content. I think actually late. Yeah. So uh, I'm going to pull this up right now. Look, I'm pulling up the app as we speak. So uh, in the app, you go to the extras section. And so I just clicked on extras. You know, there's season one, season two, and extras. And it says bonus content, and there's a little arrow. And I'm going to click on that arrow. We're going to make this easier to find in the future, by the way. And it click on deep dive and deep dive has the season one Bible round tables. That's where we had a, a Messianic Jewish rabbi, a Catholic priest and an evangelical scholar who all discuss the Bible content and the spiritual implications of each episode. They are fascinating. I promise you they are fascinating. And we even talk about the areas in which we disagree. Uh, so it's really, really cool. And we talk about uh, the areas where maybe like some of what we did in the show uh, was different than than the, than the Bible story, uh, like a location or a timeline or an interpretation that we may might disagree on. But we also talk about the things we do agree on and why we did it the way we did it. It's really, really cool. Uh, those are uh, available in the app now. Season two, we have filmed them already, and uh, they will be coming out sometime in the next couple months uh, in the app and also on the special edition DVD that we'll be doing. So cool. I promise you they are so deep and insightful. If you have not watched them in season one, you really need to. Um, they're going to be uh, really, really uh, powerful for you. Um, Laura, thank you. Just got my posters today. Frame two to go into my rooms that will use in con connection with a local pregnancy center. Very cool. Um, let's see here. Uh, wow. Tim... Peterson. Wow. Thank you, Tim. $100 super chat. Thank you. Very, very generous of you. I missed how to be a part of the feeding of the 5,000. I think I'm eligible. Can you review those details real quick? P.S. I would love a poster book. Good. Thank you. Well, you can get the poster book at thechosengifts.com. Um, so you are not eligible now if you have not paid it forward yet uh, to this level, starting on uh, like it was like a week when we did the last live stream. This is a brand new thing. This is if you've paid it forward in the past or if you were an original investor, this does not apply. This is a new thing. If you want to attend the Feeding of the 5,000 and be an extra at the Feeding of the 5,000 sometime next year, uh, it is uh, you pay it forward. You go to the website or you go to the app to pay it forward and it's $999.99. So it's $1,000 or more. Any pay it forward amount at that point will guarantee you a spot uh, in the Feeding of the 5,000. Uh, at some point, we will run out of space and we will cut that off. Now, you might be thinking, well, I don't have that kind of money. Why can't I do this? That seems rude or it seems like you're just picking favorites. Uh, it's not that. It's that we have limited space, obviously. If we just made it free, we would we would, we would have too many people. Uh, we have limited space and it's actually expensive for us to do this uh, between COVID protocols and all of the things that we do to prepare for that many people uh, and the entertainment that we provide. Like we had last time we had Phil Wickham and Carrie Job and Cody Carnes and Michael Jr., the comedian. We built a big stage. We really want to make it something that's special for you and a special experience. It's just, uh, this is the only way we can do it. So, uh, but that's the way is uh, you just go to the place to pay it forward, whether it's the website or the app, and you will see uh, at the thousand dollar or higher level uh, you can uh, get to the feeding of the 5,000. So I'm just getting getting these uh, comments from K&P, my favorite show in the world. Thank you. Uh, appreciate that, K&P. Uh, Lisa, the shirts are so comfortable. Yes, they are. We make sure that the shirts and the hoodies and all of that is the best, highest quality possible uh, we can possibly get because we really care about that. Juliana, will you be doing a 2022 calendar? Would love to get one. Yes, we do plan on doing a uh, a calendar. But that will be not that won't be for a few months. Let's see here. Daniel, 
Uh, are they are there plans? Thank you, Daniel, for the super chat. By the way, thank you for the ten dollars. Very generous. Are there plans to have cameos of future important New Testament characters? People like Paul, Barnabas, Luke, or even Simon the Sorcerer or the Ethiopian eunuch? Yes. That's all I'll say. Um, Luann, I really enjoyed the Bible study with season one. Is there a season two study in the works? Good question. This is the season one Bible study. It is amazing. It's for groups or individuals. Um, and uh, this one is called, What Does It Mean to Be Chosen? And it takes you through the, all eight episodes of uh, season one, goes deeper into those. Uh, but this is a Bible study. This isn't just, let's just take things from the episodes and then talk about them. This is a, let's take scripture show how the show actually interacts with scripture, but this is a true Bible study. Um, and it really takes you deeper into the gospels, takes you deeper into the book of Isaiah, which is what was rooted, uh, which is what episode one of season one was rooted in. Um, you know, the whole, I have called you by name. What does it mean to be chosen? And the season two Bible study has been written. It will be coming out early next year. It is called Blessed Are the Chosen. You can imagine what that means. It, of course, gets into the Sermon on the Mount and the, the Beatitudes, and it goes deep into each of those and how the episodes tie into that and the Bibles, the, uh, the Bible verses behind those and what that meant and what Jesus was saying. We go deep into that, and that will be available next year. It is really, really cool. But you need to make sure you get the first one for because uh, it's, it's pretty awesome. Um, Rachel, having many people ask me about my mask that I posted, The Chosen. Hi, Rachel. Which... The mask mandate's returning. Can you bring that one back out? So right now, the only masks we have available are ones that say binge Jesus. We thought if people are going to be having to wear masks, which there a lot of mask mandates are coming. We also added children's size uh, binge Jesus masks because of kids going back to school. Uh, I know you might not be a fan of wearing masks. Some of you are like anti-mask, whatever. It doesn't matter. Uh, people, some people have to. And, uh, and like, every time you travel. So you might as well be wearing something that can spark a conversation or say something really positive. Uh, so the binge Jesus ones are in. We will be soon having uh, the uh, ear, the gator, ear hole gators that have the chosen uh, logo on them. Those are coming back. And those are my favorites because those are super comfortable. Um, let's see. Kelly McCollum Basatne. Asks, will you need cast another Arab American anytime soon? My dad's, my husband's dad came from Damascus. We love you guys. Well, yeah, we almost all, I mean, we, we prefer that all of our cast members other than the Romans as much as possible. I mean, we can find be ethnic, uh, preferably from the Middle East, Jewish, whatever, but we really want uh, to, this to, you know, this isn't like a European Jesus show. This is a Middle Eastern Jesus show. So absolutely. Um Hi, Sherry Bauman. I always want to uh, thank Sherry's one of our biggest supporters, one of our one of our uh, Hall of Famers, our chosen Hall of Fame supporters. Uh, any fun new merch with some of our favorite quotes like "Not too shabby," "Who got you food," etc. Uh, we do have a new T-shirt coming relatively soon uh, that we are currently designing now, based on a cool phrase from season two. I won't tell you about that just yet. Uh, Amanda Root, just curious, are the cast members all different denominations? I love how you posted that y'all focus on Jesus. Well, that's the show, yes, but our cast and crew comes from all different stripes, including uh, many, many cast and crew members who aren't believers. Uh, uh, we have no religious litmus test for people to be part of the show. We don't obviously talk about any of our cast and crew members publicly. Uh, that is between them and God or uh, or whoever, and um, it's between uh, that's up to them to talk about if they want, but we would never talk publicly about anyone's personal life. But uh, yeah, um, we have hundreds of cast and crew members, and they come from all walks of life, uh, from atheist all the way to evangelical and everything in between and everything sideways and all that. Uh, let's see. <sighs> Bryce asks, when does the French dubbing will be released? Um, I don't know if season one is dubbed in French yet, uh, but we're working on it. Um, but yeah, the, the let's see. Right now in the app and in the website, we have... Dubbing of English, obviously. Spanish, Portuguese, German, Arabic, Bengali, Chinese, Hindi, and Russian. And uh, we are working on several more. Uh, those will be coming out over the next several months. Season two is also in the works. I mean, this just takes time. It's very expensive. It takes time to do the dubbing. Uh, so we're, we'll, we'll, we're going as fast as we can. Our goal is to eventually have as many languages as possible. We have some big initiatives on that to do that, but it's just very expensive and very time consuming. And season two, uh, subtitling is also... Uh, the, the translations have been done by our extraordinary volunteer translation team, excuse me, and uh, 
they've done an extraordinary job, but we're, we haven't been able to yet apply them to the app, but that is in the works and that will be coming soon. Um, Cindy says, sure wish trouble would disappear, not the gear, just trouble. That would be, that would be nice, but uh, Jesus promised us trouble uh, in this lifetime. So let's experience it with gratitude for the fact that God puts us through these trials and then also uh, give some trouble too, the good kind of trouble. Uh, let's see. And again, forgive me for the kind of the more casual nature of this Q and A. We're just trying some new things. Uh, and so I'm just, I'm, I'm looking at the, the, uh, questions myself. Uh, Kitty Joe Pierce asks if the, if Matthew is the son of Alphaeus and which James is his brother, because all of the other scriptures say that James is the son of Alphaeus. There were multiple Alphaeuses. Um, Alpheus was a relatively common name back then. So that doesn't mean that they were brothers. Uh, Gwen enjoyed your interview with Tom and Sam from Grafted. So if you haven't checked that out, please do. You just look up, uh, the chosen, uh, Grafted, G-R-A-F-T-E-D on YouTube. And, uh, they're a great channel that has done some fantastic behind the scenes looks into chosen episodes. They do some reaction videos. And I just did a conversation with them that came out yesterday. It was really, really great. I love those guys. We have so many great channels, uh, that, uh, YouTube channels that have come up, uh, that analyze chosen episodes, do reaction videos. Um, and occasionally I'll stop by and do an interview. So just on YouTube, just search for the chosen reactions and uh, you'll be able to see some really cool ones. Um, it's really, and I, and when you do that, please make sure you like it, subscribe to them, encourage them, let them know that you want to see more of that kind of stuff. It's really a great way to uh, uh, keep, you know, kind of fill in the gaps between seasons. Uh, Juanetta, love the devotional. Number three, yes, the first two devotionals. In fact, wow, it's so funny. I actually have these right now. I wasn't planning on doing this. These are the first two devotional books, The Chosen 40 Days with Jesus, The Chosen 40 Days with Jesus, book two. Book three is being written as we speak. And guess what? We're also going to be writing a children's version of these devotionals, The Chosen 40 Days with children, Jesus for Children. Um, it's going to take the same concepts, the same stories, the same gospel, the same verses, the same prayer requests, prayer prompts, all of that, and put it into a, a format for, for, for young children. Um, Randy asks about the Blu-rays, DVDs for both seasons. Yeah, I mean, uh, that's this pre-sale. So season one is already out. Obviously, season two, you can pre-order pre right now, and we will be getting those in the uh, next couple of weeks. So we're literally about to cut off. That's why you need to order the pre-sale now and get the, the discount get the devotional booklet that's in there because we're, we're, we're cutting it off in just a couple of days. Um, let's see here. Will, if, uh, let's see, Renee. Oh, sorry, Mark. Percy, our church started doing a discussion on the episodes called the Ecclesia. You can find it on YouTube. That's nice. Good for you. We love when we see churches kind of taking ownership of this and going deeper into the stories. Um, Priya, Dallas, we love The Chosen, but we love you more. Mm. Well, thank you for that. But uh, you, you, you definitely need to love the show more than me. Uh, the, the, I, I'm, I'm, just a, I'm just a messenger. Um, please get the rest you need. Uh, I, I need to work. I need to get better at that. Helen, I love Nathaniel's character so much, but just curious, wasn't Bartholomew one of the 12? Uh, Nathaniel is Bartholomew. So that is our belief that they uh, multiple disciples had different names, whether it was their first and middle name or whatever, but Nathaniel and Bartholomew are the same person. Uh, let's see here. Tirzu says, I'm half Colombian. Am I qualified to audition? <laughs> well, if anyone's qualified to audition uh, through our current, we, we have this current thing going that I don't even know the, the, the website for. Maybe someone can put it in the chat. We do have an open casting call going. Uh, right now that's going to cut off in about a week or so. Um, uh, but look at our YouTube, our Facebook page, look it up, maybe just look up the chosen casting call or something like that. I don't have the website on me, um, but maybe someone can put that in the chat uh, where you can go and you can do an open call. But for the most part, I mean, 99.9% .9 of our cast are going to come from people who have agents and who are uh, in the set in, in the actors union who we find through our cast our normal casting processes but we've occasionally we'll do this open casting call just for fun um 
Joel Ortega says, when will season two come out? That's a little disturbing. <laughs> Thanks for the question, Joel, but season two has been out for a while. Go get the app, the chosen app, the chosen app. It is free. It is easy. And uh, you can watch season two, all of it completely free. Uh, Dan, how wide of acceptance does the chosen have with Christian denominations such as Jehovah's Witness and LDS? Um, huge. I mean, the chosen is huge among all denominations right now. That's what's been so cool is seeing all these people from all different faith backgrounds come together and love the show that's just focused on Jesus and not religion. It's not focused on all of the walls that we build up around uh, after Jesus was here. And so, uh, but the show is also gaining acceptance among people who aren't believers uh, because it's, they just like the show. Uh, this is a show like any other show. And the fact that it happens to be about the people of first century Galilee is awesome. Um, and hopefully is getting people to know Jesus better and to love Jesus more. But you don't have to be a believer to work on the show, to watch the show, to like it. Uh, we hear all the time from people who love it, uh, who aren't believers. Uh, Jay Pan, have you thought about starting a magazine for the show? Yeah, it's come up every now and then, but we've got uh, so many things going. It's really hard to catch up with them as we um, just doing what we have in front of us. Another denomination question from Sophia. Which denomination is it chosen based on? None. <laughs> I'm an evangelical, uh, but um, I'm, I'm just, this is just a show about Jesus. And uh, it comes from, from an evangelical perspective in the sense that, I mean, I don't know, you're, you're not going to see much different from me than if I was another faith tradition because we're just telling the stories of the Gospels and giving those backstories. And it's not like, you know, back then, even if I was a Catholic, I wouldn't show Jesus doing this. I mean, he didn't do that back then. So <laughs> these are just uh, these are just Jesus stories. We are not connected with, endorsed by, formally aligned with any Christian denomination, any church, anything like that. Um, oh, this is funny. Sergeant Tao, love the show, dislike opening credits music. <laughs> uh, yeah, well... Fortunately, you're in the like 2% minority. The opening credits music are uh, absolutely one of my favorite things. I, uh, it's it's an absolute, it's, a, it, it's an announcement to tell you what the show is about and what the style of the show is, what the direction of the show is. The lyrics are a call to action. Uh, the music itself is amazing. Uh, it's, it's rooted in that oppression, but plus hope that we are trying to communicate. Um, but yeah. No ever, no chance, 0.0% .0 chance of ever changing the opening credits music. And people, most people absolutely love it, but I love that you have your own opinion and that's perfectly fine. Uh, Amy, look forward to seeing more of Eden. As a pastor's wife, her story really speaks to me nicely done. You're going to see a lot more of Eden in season three. Uh, we're working on that right now. Uh, Eden is a featured character of season three, her relationship with Simon. They go through quite a bit in season three, um, quite a bit. And uh, so, a lot, lot of come. If you like Eden, and Eden is definitely one of the the uh, fan favorites, uh, you're gonna see. You're gonna like season three. Um, so thank you for that question. Um, Soldiers of Christ. In a moment of depression, thinking Jesus was disappointed with me, the scene with him and Mary really released me from that depression. Thanks for being obedient. Thank you for that, Soldiers of Christ. Uh, we we hear that a lot of that season, that episode in season two, episode six of season two, the scene between Jesus and Mary and his forgiveness of her, uh, unconditional forgiveness of her, uh, the only condition being that she say sorry, that she repent. Um, forgiveness comes quite easily uh, from Jesus and hopefully from us. But that had a lot, that uh, really impacted a lot of people. Suze Hartman McLeod has a question. Uh, Suze Hartman McLeod. Um, McLeod, I've heard that last name before. The, uh, McLeod happens to be the last name of the gentleman who is currently in this house that I'm in doing this live stream. Uh, his name is Colin McLeod. He runs, uh, he, he kind of runs our BTS team, does all of our uh, kind of supervises or does himself all of our behind the scenes videos, all those things you see on YouTube. He is also helping run this live stream right now. And uh, I have a, Suze, do you, uh, uh, Colin, do you know the Suze? Yeah, the last name, uh, I just know if you call them McLeods, I'll know each other. Suze is Colin's wife, by the way. And so she asks, yes, I want more stuff for the kids. Thanks. So excited for this. Four exclamation points in six words, Colin. Is that how Suze talks in real life? Everything in exclamation points? Yeah. Uh, thank you, Suze. Uh, yeah, Susan has some young kids, and we do have more coming uh, for the kids. Oh, gosh. Uh, Papucho asks, when will we see the fourth season? 
Oh, please don't ask. We, we get enough questions about season three. Please don't start asking about season four yet. Uh, season four is a ways off. Season three comes next, and that's next year. Uh, Cody, The Chosen, where do you uh, fil guys film this at anyways? Like in California or Texas or where at? Uh, we shoot the majority of it in Texas. I'm actually on our set right now, the property where we film the majority of it and where we are currently building or wanting to build our our sets for season three and future. We're building permanent sets uh, for uh, future seasons uh, that we will that will be ours here on this property on the Salvation Army here in Texas. And uh, we also shoot part of it at in Utah at an extraordinary, extraordinary Jerusalem set that uh, the LDS Church has graciously allowed us to use. Uh, for some of season two, and we'll be doing some of season three. We'll also be filming our Christmas special there with all those musicians performing their uh, uh, Christmas songs. Uh, we'll be shooting that on the set. So Texas and Utah are the two places that we film. Um, let's see here. Uh, Lisa, love how you present the disciples. I would love to see the miracle of Lazarus. Lazarus, me too. Good question. Um, sorry, a lot, so many questions coming in fast here. Let's see here. Lorraine, I would love to hear more from your wife. She is so wise. Will you do an interview with her? Great question. Yes, my wife is wise. Uh, you hear from her often with our Bible study, which she wrote the bulk of, with our devotional books, which she wrote the bulk of, with the um, uh, the premier edition booklet that has these devotionals. Uh, and I've had her on live streams before. If you look at the Come and See show from episode six, she came on and shared. Uh, so we have her on. We've had her on a couple live streams, but yeah, we'll have we'll have more of her uh, often. Yeah, my wife's just a rock star. Uh, Michelle, yes, just saw a question about Little John. I assume you mean Little James. When will we see his backstory? Um, not all the disciples are going to be portrayed in the show with with complete all of their backstories and all that. Um, we, we you know we don't have time for all of that, and. Uh, Little James and Thaddeus were two two characters who were introduced in episode two of season one, but uh, you will see more of them. Uh, we we want to explore all of the disciples, and if you remember in episode three of season two, Little James has that all kind of a mini crisis of faith, just wondering what should I ask of Jesus when it comes to being healed? You know, because uh, Jordan Ross, the actor who plays Little James, and Little James the character. Uh, are, I don't know what term you want to use, not disabled, because I don't think Jordan would use that term, because Jordan, I don't know, maybe he would, uh, but he's uh, uh, got some maladies that affect the way he walks, and have, he's had just dozens of surgeries and whatnot, and so when we cast him, because he was a great actor, we thought, oh, well, let's make little James like that, and uh, so in season three, we are going to take that a little further, and little James will have the opportunity to talk to Jesus about this issue. And uh, should he ask for healing or not? It's an interesting question. Uh, from Corey Queen, $5. Thank you, Corey. Uh, love your generosity. Third time's a charm. Uh, will the young lady who played the cello during John 3.16 perform for the Christmas special? And will Nicodemus return in season three? So uh, look up on our YouTube channel. There's a wonderful video. Um, I, I think it's, I don't remember the name of it. Uh, I think it's called something like Maybe Colin, you could look that up if you if you can. I think like uh, this girl, the chosen, this girl's experience, special chosen experience, something like that, um, where she performed. Uh, this is a girl with autism who wrote it into me, and is also a musician. So we had her come out to Nashville, and she actually performed uh, a piece with the cello um, in, a, in in episode seven of season one. A, a really cool section. It's a beautiful, beautiful video. Uh, no plans to uh, have her come back at the moment. Uh, but she's wonderful, and we talk to her uh, and her family occasionally. Uh, will Nicodemus return in season three? Uh, no plans for Nicodemus to return in season three. Uh, but uh, yeah, um, Nicodemus currently is not involved in the story. Uh, he did not follow Jesus, but uh, hopefully we'll see if he comes back in the future. Um, this is an interesting name, Bened Benedicti? Benedicte? Do you know when the new children's book, The Shepherd, will be coming out? Yes, we're doing a Christmas 
uh, children's book based on the shepherd the original pilot episode that started this whole process uh and that really great children's book that is coming out i believe in november for christmas uh carla or charla jesus to simon's wife i see you that's from episode seven of season one very touching for me yeah eden is awesome and that scene was really beautiful hannah are all the episodes still going to be free when all the seasons are out the chosen will always be free you will always be able to get The Chosen in our app or at our website for free. So I see someone asking repeatedly about the short film that I did about the cross. Um, I don't know where to find that. Uh, it could be on YouTube somewhere, but I'll talk about that some other time. Uh, Georgiana, are you going to have more special premieres that people can attend? So many would love to get together, even if it is live stream or at a movie theater. Great question, Georgiana. So if you recall, episode six of season two, our live stream was done from uh, Dallas at a conference where 1,500 Chosen fans showed up. And uh, so we gave an opportunity for everyone to be there. We will definitely do more of those, and we will have opportunities to gather in a movie theater. Uh, more to come about that. Uh, but stay tuned, yes. We have more opportunities coming in the future. Marie would love to see Paul Saul. I know it's been a while before he enters, but you see the series going that length. I don't mind. Just do the entire Bible. Ah, yeah, that'd be fun. Um, yeah, I'd love to see Saul and Paul too sometime, but season three is next and he's not going to be in season three. Um, Frank, I'm done with Disney. Go chosen theme parks. <laughs> no champ, no plan for a chosen theme park. Disney's awesome. Um, any chance we'll be able to get tickets to the Christmas special in Utah, Terry? Um, well, we're, it's not going to be a live event. Uh, we're, we're, we're recording all these artists uh, separately, and then we put it together like a Christmas special, like we did last year. Uh, uh, I'll just take a couple more questions, and then we'll we'll go. Um, Louise, hi, Dallas. The Chosen is so amazing. Will you be portraying the miracle of the bleeding woman who is healed by touching Jesus's robe? Thank you for sharing your gifts. Good question, Louise. Let's, uh, this and many other stories we may or may not uh, portray, and you'll need to watch the seasons to see. No fun knowing now, is it? If and when they're coming. We'll occasionally tell you uh, what's coming, but it's best to just watch, I think. Uh, Latuan. I would like to ask, why don't you use the true sacred Hebrew names of Yahweh or Yeshua? Uh, because this is an English transliteration of uh, the Hebrew. And so uh, all of the words are in English, except for when we write it out. And uh, so all the names, for the most part, we do them in the English transliterations of those words. Transliteration uh, doesn't necessarily mean translation. It's a slightly different thing. Um, Judy. The last episode around the fire and seeing Jesus totally exhausted and bloody, I assume you're, you're referring to episode three of season two, Judy, uh, was stunning. Thank you for that. It's episode three, season two. Uh, one of the most talked about episodes we've ever done. Oh, look, Kaylin is here. Uh, she's the girl who was on the video that play, uh, she is the one who played the cello. She's, we call her, some people call her cello girl. She's here watching. Thanks so much. Hi, Kaylin. Always good to see you. Uh, Kyle. Is the, uh, must be asking Kimberly, is there a concern about the marketing of this to make more money is going to turn into a money changers moment? It's a huge success, but please keep it humble. Um, I mean, <laughs> we have to market the show. Marketing the show is how you get the show to more people. So we want to reach a billion people around the world. That requires money. It requires marketing. Um, money changers moment is, um, money changers is when you're, is when people were in the temple using the temple what was intended for one thing and they were using it for something else and they were using it to make money. Um, and it was a uh, very, very different situation than us marketing, selling this show. This is, we are not a nonprofit. We are not a ministry. We're not a church. We are a TV show. This needs to be very clear. And we occasionally, I'm not saying that Kyle was, is doing this. So I'm not, this is not at Kyle at all, but occasionally people will be like, I'm not comfortable with you marketing this show or, or the standing ovations or this feels Hollywood. I, we, we don't even take those comments seriously, okay? Um, the show requires money. The show requires marketing. We've also made the show free. So 
If you do not want to pay it forward, you do not have to. I do not want you to if you do not want to pay it forward. If you do not want to buy any of our gift items, please don't. I'm saying this with all the love and and, and gentleness and empathy in the world. Uh, but we have to. Uh, first of all, the things like the DVD and the books and all that are intended to take you deeper into scripture. Even our shirts, even our hats and all of those things are intended to start conversations. They are intended to uh, take people deeper to remind people of who Jesus is and to go deeper into these stories. And they also have the added benefit of when you purchase them, they support future episodes and seasons. So let it be said now and forevermore, we will always be marketing the show. We will always be uh, offering gifts and we will always be spending lots and lots of money that must be spent to get this show to a billion people. It is impossible to do so otherwise. Shannon, I, my kids still sing the jingle for The Chosen website. Love it. www.thechosengifts.com. Uh, so I'm going to be going here in just a moment, but uh, I'll, I'll, and I'll just remind you of what's happening at thechosengifts.com right now. Uh, Darlene, what is the donation thing you're doing? Again, we don't do donations. Donations are for nonprofits. They're like ministries and charities. That is when you donate and you get a tax-deductible receipt and all of that. I want to make it very clear. Uh, j j just for, 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 for the future. Uh, this is a not a nonprofit. We have 19,000 people who invested in the first uh, season, which they are now part owners of the uh, of the chosen of the show. And uh, it is a it is a for profit project. It happens to be free. So to keep it free and to keep it in the because we believe that the only way to get it to a billion people is for it to be free. And so it happens to be free and no one is compelled or required to pay a dime for anything. And in fact, the vast majority of, I mean, the overwhelming majority of people who watch this show watch it free and never contribute, pay it forward. They never buy anything or anything. That's great. They're able to do so because some of you pay it forward or purchase uh, gifts. Uh, so I just want to make it very clear. We never use the word donate because it's not a donation. It is your form of payment. Uh, or if you want to buy it. So what's the donation thing you're doing? I missed the first part. Uh, we are not right now. I mean, by the way, on this live stream, you can rewind and watch it from the beginning. So at any point, you can just hear everything that we've been talking about. Jennifer, Will Dennis, uh, Espergi, Espergis, uh, Jesse, who plays Jesse, be back. Um, Shirley Simon, a la Safi, uh, Simon Z, will visit his brother from time to time. We'll see. Uh, Del Marie, have you seen any miracles on set while filming? Uh, I believe so. I mean, you know, sometimes it's, sometimes things happen that are just, you know, things happen. Other times we really believe God stepped in and did, did something. Um, I'm always hesitant to claim God's, uh, inspiration for this show. Uh, the word, you know, inspired by God is a word that's pretty sacred because it implies to the Bible. Uh, and the Bible we believe is God inspired. Um, I hesitate to say, oh, the show is inspired, um, even though I, of course, pray co constantly for the show and to get uh, as much from the Lord and from the Holy Spirit as I possibly can when I'm writing and when we're making it. We ask for God's help on a daily basis. Um, but it, it's it, I'm always a little bit uncomfortable because I don't want to ever approach this show as though it's spiritual authority or that you ever believe that I'm saying something to you and claiming that God told me to say it to you or that I'm channeling God's voice or anything like that, I take that very, very seriously. And I never, ever want you to look at me as a replacement for uh, your own prayer life or your relationship with your pastor or anything like that. And the show should never be a replacement for the Bible. Uh, there, uh, The Bible is God's word. The show isn't. And there are things in the show that, um, in fact, the vast majority of the show <coughs> excuse me, isn't from the Bible. So it's from my head, my co-writer's head, from the actors, all that kind of stuff. And we are not God's word. So I just always want to make that very clear. Uh, so have you seen any miracles on set while filming? In our latest um, behind the scenes video. So go to our YouTube channel and you look up our recent videos. And we talked a little bit about in that video about uh, the, the, the day of filming on the set, what we call the miracle of the fog. And we've got more videos coming out about what we believe uh, the miracles that have happened in season two that are truly extraordinary. And uh, we've got more coming about that. You can see a glimpse of it in this uh, one of our latest recap videos. Just do a couple more uh, questions here. Uh, Rags, 1602, will the Christmas special be available on DVD? Probably not on DVD. 
but it will be available on television in a few places. We've got some big plans for the Christmas special, so I'll tell you more about that in the near future. But it's not coming out till December anyway. So, um, but you, you'll you'll love the Christmas special. We've got some incredible artists that I want to tell you about. Um, let's see here. <laughs> Robert says, I noticed Kevin Costner as a sponsor in season one finale credits. Have any others that are well known outside of Christian circles been supported? I doubt that's the real Kevin Costner <laughs> or someone was making a joke. I didn't have any actually know that. I'll have to look that up. If you if you look at the closing credits of season one, we all the people who paid it forward or invested a certain amount or higher, I think it was just maybe invested, um, got their name in the credits. And uh, apparently Kevin Costner is in there. I mean, that, but that's probably a joke. Um, I didn't know that. But you can check out all those names if you want. Uh, does anyone know if we'll see Jesus being tempted in the desert? I would probably be the only one who would know that. Uh, and uh, there are no plans to do that. Uh, highly unlikely. Because it's probably already taken place in the storyline. Uh, but Bonan, Bonan Font, Bonan Font, Bonan Font. Any more plans to do another long shot? That 15-minute shot was my favorite. Felt like I was there. That was the whole point of it, um, uh, to make you feel like you were there. I appreciate that. Episode, The opening 15 minutes of episode three, all one shot. You can see all about that in my director's reaction video. Uh, if you just look up episode three, director's reaction. By the way, I do, I do a very detailed behind-the-scenes commentary on all of the episodes we've done so far. Uh, episode seven commentary, my reaction is coming out in a couple days. Right, Colin? Great. Uh, episode seven is coming out on Sunday, so make sure you check that out. But the previous six uh, videos, I do a detailed behind the scenes look at each episode. In episode three, I talk about that shot, that 15 minute shot. So you can just look up chosen episode three director reaction. Um, Richard Calloway. Oh, wow. Hey, Dallas. How cool is this? Very cool. Let me see if I can find one more question. Um, so I can't I can't put up I can't post this question I'm so sorry but Debbie uh, did a super chat thank you so much Debbie fifty dollars really really appreciate that very generous of you those super chats help us uh, with our YouTube channel and help us keep giving you all these free videos um, hoping to eventually see the transfiguration and ascension so that's really interesting about about this show I tend to shy away from those types of moments and miracles those truly 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 supernatural moments because. I feel like when I show them, all you're going to be thinking about is, oh, how did they do that? And does that look like what it really looked like? It just becomes really distracting from the emotional uh, part of the scene. Um, so anytime we do do something like that, like for example, in, in The Shepherd, which is the Christmas pilot episode, uh, where we show the arrival of the angels, we do it from a unique perspective. Because I, I didn't want to, even if we had all the money in the world, just turning the camera up to the heavens and showing a bunch of angels, it's like, what are they going to look like? It's just going to be really distracting. So uh Anything's possible, but don't be surprised if you do not see either of the transfiguration or the ascension. I'm not saying it won't happen. I'm just saying don't be surprised if it doesn't. Uh, I just have to know that I can do it in a way that honors the truth of it, uh, isn't distracting, uh, it, it, where the scene isn't just about the supernatural element of it. It really has to be within the chosen uh, approach. It has to fit within the story. It has to fit within the emotional arc of what we're trying to do. Um, it has to not it has to feel real and authentic. And if we don't believe we can do that, uh, then and we believe it's best kept in the Bible and uh, you can experience it between you and God, That's uh, we, we will do that. So we don't always just say, oh, that was a really cool story. Let's put it into the show. The show is a different thing than the Bible. Uh, different intentions, uh, different uh, approach. Joyce, hi, Dallas, joining from the Philippines. We have so many brothers and sisters in the Philippines who are such huge fans of the show and who have been from the beginning. Uh, so appreciate that. Uh, Julie says, is the chosen in Thai? What's cool about Thai is that my son, I have a son who's Thai. We adopted my son, Max, from Thailand uh, over 10 years ago. And uh, so I have a very special place in my heart for Thailand and for the Thai language. Season one is dubbed, uh, sorry, is trend, uh, subtitled in Thai. And I believe season two will be as well if it hasn't been already. Uh, but yes, yeah, season one is subtitled in, uh, in Thai. Skull candy. Is the LDS Jesus the same as the scripture? Oh, good grief. Uh, has nothing to do with the show. Um, Melissa, when will the six disc special edition of season two be released? Um, probably early 2022. We're working on all that now. The season one special edition DVD has 
monumental amounts of extras and bonus content and deep dives. So when you go to thechosengifts.com or the gift factory, make sure you check out that special edition. It is one of my favorite special editions I've ever been a part of or seen at all. We made sure it was just filled with stuff and everything in the gift store is 25% off or 5% off this weekend. One more question. Let's see here. Yeah, the iTunes, uh, Granny Marge. Hi, Granny Marge. It uh, talks about uh, the Chosen soundtrack. Uh, are you going to be able to film all seven seasons before Christ returns? <laughs> well, if Christ returns before we're done, I think we'll, we won't be thinking about the show anymore. But I hope we can get the show in. Be fun. Uh, a lot of wonderful comments just thanking us for the show. I appreciate that. Um, Bobby, will you guys do a show, a story about Jesus's resurrection? <laughs> I sure hope so. Uh, Leanne, is there a coach to help actors master the distinct accent they share? Well, it was, what's interesting about your question is they don't all share the exact same accent. Uh, Capernaum in that area was a melting pot, just like here in America, where you see multiple different accents. Uh, you see that in The Chosen as well. Uh, but we do have a dialect coach, yes, who uh, kind of helps people keep them consistent. And then when newcomers come on, kind of gets them into the Middle Eastern idea. Will Satan be making an appearance and who will play him? <laughs> uh, 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 yeah, who knows? And I, <laughs> probably not. Uh, Satan always makes an appearance whenever he's inhabiting people who are uh, doing evil. Uh, all right, I'm going to do, uh, I'm going to wrap up here. And if I see one more question uh, that I want to answer, then I will do so. So I uh, want to let you know if you're, coming late to the party, what's happening this over uh, this weekend. So first of all, thank you for joining me on this live stream. Really appreciate it. And as a reward for you joining this live stream just spontaneously, we didn't advertise this. We just told a few people about it. We're just testing out this new format of uh, taking questions live and me kind of controlling the, the situation. So uh, if you go to thechosengifts.com, www.thechosengifts.com, and because I have earphones in, I might not sound very good, Normally, as if normally I sound so amazing. But uh, chosengifts.com, if you go there right now and over this weekend, so if you're watching this live stream later, if you go over this weekend, uh, everything in the store is 5% off with a discount code. So the discount code is live stream. So order what you want, assemble your gift cart, get to the end, and you have 5% off if you type in live stream, L I V E S T R E A M, live stream. That is the discount code. It will give you 5% off everything. What are some of the things that I think you should really get right now? Number one, uh, the Trouble shirt or hoodie. This is truly one of my favorites. The hoodie is so comfortable. The shirt is comfortable. I love this color blue. We don't have anything else like it. And it's got that really cool, iconic moment at the end of season one. And it's got just a cool message because, excuse me, people ask about it all the time. They'll say, what does trouble mean? Or what's that referring to? You get a chance to talk about the good trouble and the bad trouble that Jesus gave and experienced. And uh, we're retiring that. Uh, that shirt and the, all, all our trouble gear we're retiring soon. Like the, the amount that we have in the store now, we're not ordering anymore. So when that's gone, it's gone. So get it now and you get 5% off. If you already have one, give it as a gift because you're getting it cheap. Um, the poster book also is is uh, extraordinary. And we only have a few left that are $19.99. The price will go up um, uh, very soon because uh, we underpriced this. Part of it was an accident. Part of it was we just thought, oh, we think, you know, $19.99 sounds like a good price. And then we got it. And the cost of it was higher than we expected. The shipping, all the COVID delays, all that kind of stuff made it more expensive. And plus, when I got it, I thought, oh, my gosh, this is unbelievable. I mean, look at these pictures. Like these, uh, and I already, earlier, I pulled out, you can pull out so easily um, the posters. And is this upside down? Yeah, it's upside down. That iconic moment. From, uh, with the fish, uh, and you can hang it up. You can frame it. I mean, look at just. I mean, just I'm just randomly opening to it, and you can see these extraordinarily beautiful pictures. Uh, so that's really cool. And um, right now it's underpriced, and will only be underpriced for a little while longer before we get our new batch in, which has a new price. But uh, this right here, the presale. In just a couple of days, we are taking. We are switching from presale to regular edition. So this is the premiere edition. That's why it says premiere on it. Can you see that? Premier edition, okay? And um, 
we are in just a couple of days no longer going to have the premier edition. We will have just the regular edition, the standard edition. And the standard edition will be full price. We took, we gave a discount on this uh, pre-sale edition because we just want to thank you for helping us out and helping get more future episodes and seasons and buying early. And this will be uh, shipped out sometime in the next two weeks. Again, there's delays from all over the world right now uh, on shipping and everything. It's just crazy. So this will be uh, shipped out soon if you've uh, pre-ordered it. And it has uh, this booklet that will not be in the standard edition. This is just kind of our little thank you, our little extra, our little bonus for ordering the pre-sale edition. Uh, and it's got pictures you won't see anywhere else. This is the picture from episode three of Jesus. Uh, it's got uh, devotionals and be kind, of, kind of like deeper insights. Remember episode six when Mary had her relapse and then came back? Um, we have a key quote, you know, from that episode. And then we've got this devotional that talks about that whole concept. It's really beautiful. So it's only available on the presale. So the presale, of course, has that discounted price. So once the presale is done with, we go to the regular price. So right now, because we're running out, because we're not doing this in a couple of days, get the presale, get the discount, get the booklet. And then on top of it all, just for watching this live stream, you enter live stream in the discount code, get 5% off everything in the store. Isn't that lovely? Isn't that fun? All right. So thank you so much for helping us test this out. Uh, this wasn't a big thing that we were doing. I'm just, And I know it was a little bit clunky at times, but uh, I'm just trying to test out this whole idea of uh, taking your questions live and me kind of running the show. And um, yeah, Aaron, yes, there will be a study guide. Thank you. Good question. Uh, study guide for season two. It's already been finished. Thank you for anyone who did the super chat. So appreciated. So generous. We put all of that towards um, our equipment and making sure that all of these YouTube videos and all that stuff that we do uh, every, uh, you know, a couple times a week. Uh, Kim uh, did a super chat for $100. Thank you so much, Kim. So generous of you. Chris, $50. Thank you so much. So appreciated. Dawn, $50. Uh, Richard, um, $20 and th said uh, thank you for, to us for that. Debbie, uh, $50. Oh, poor Debbie said $50 and said, hoping to eventually see the transfiguration and ascension. <laughs> Maybe you're going to take your $50 back now that I said you might not see those things. Uh, Tim, I think I, I already answered, uh, talked to you about that. Thanks again, Tim, for your generosity. Uh, so appreciate it, guys. Any, any, anything you do um, is not required. It's not necessary. Um, well, I shouldn't say that. It is necessary if we want to keep the show free and want to keep going, but it is not required. And uh, when you do that, it allows other people who can't do it to be able to watch the show for free, to have their lives changed, to be able to watch all their extra content. All of that is only possible because of your generosity and your contribution. And it really, really means a lot to us. Thank you for partnering with us. Uh, we'll bring our loaves and fish. You'll bring your loaves and fish and together we'll watch God feed the 5,000. Tawana, thank you. $5 super chat. Thank you so much. Um, Really, really appreciate this. Thank you so much for joining us and uh, for joining me for this conversation. If you missed the beginning, go back and you can watch the conversation I did with Luke Dimian, who plays Judas. Really cool conversation there. And I will see you soon. Throw me like this down in the water mud rise up dress me like a lamb for the slaughter pour me in your cup should have known we'd bring trouble trouble gonna find you here trouble